Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is John Sports for the ninth, and you can see I've had to blow this chart up dramatically because it's just becoming a straight across nothingness. Uh, we've reset now. Bull should be taking control of the setup with the way things are going. We're now at a key point here, though. Um, the long-term buyers are reaching that uh, negative 7.5. If they don't break above that zone, we could see significantly lower. I mean, we've just traded back and forth within this overall the zone here if I squeeze this in you can see the numbers parsing the market here and then we're going to have within each of these different uh, categories we'll have uh, specific uh, readings that you'll be able to uh, have changes in direction within them so you get a downturn and then it'll have a new buy signal that will pop in in between there um, this is going to be part of uh, following the ABM, and those are the next adjustments I'm making on having the trades match the uh, uh, very limited buy signals uh, for the new MBI and GAM that have been really squeezed tightly. Um, shakeout wise, completely reset. We're moving to the upside of it, so we should be getting a little bit of movement out of this. Uh, not overbought. Uh, Dip below the red line doesn't really mean much because there's not a whole lot of distance uh, that we have to transverse there to get to it. So just back and forth, then Q, it's just flatlining right along the red line. And you get these periods where that happens. And I think now that uh, we get some pulls that are changing, uh, we're starting to see just a little bit of uh, frozen nature. I would expect that uh, we could do fun money has come in already. So we should have seen a little bit more of a spurt from this. It's not quite taking place, and you can see the rejection here of the green. Not a good sign. If the steel dips below cyan, I would expect a more significant uh, decline coming in through that. Uh, USO sparking a little bit of a rally. This is just trading within a range right here. I think it's still problematic when you have the ability to add supply at any given time. It makes it difficult to. Uh, gauge of consistency with it and gold just retracing the positive extremes which we expected but still on an upclined uh, cyan below red that's bullish without question and like i said bonds didn't expect them to be doing anything because it's way overpriced as it is and there you have the euro making a strong move so to dip below the um negative 13 here with the uh Orange, which is the buy signal, but typically you would like to see steel a little bit higher than that when it happens. It finally did occur and was still below red. Uh, it finally got a, just a little bit higher, but it was a little late in the spike. So it's just interesting to see uh, that we look for on like a uh, shorter term from like the case chart or that. Now here was an interesting one where you had the spike because we had the contract rollover uh, beginning. And so the at ES symbol changes comparative to the, you know, uh, traditional September contract and or even the new December contract which is still a few days off um, but the spike above not just 13.5 but above uh, the 20 level sparks this little orange configuration that lets you know that a short uh, should be of significant uh, range uh, has begun the key you look for in that particular case is that the orange stays between uh, cyan and red is really your weakest configuration every time the cyan pops back uh, i mean the uh, orange pops back out uh, you get a little burst of uh, energy from it and again likewise same with the uh, steel you're better off having the steel all the way up and out as the orange plays in between. And you can see that when you look at uh, other chart configurations. From our 5K standpoint, we had had the red came down, then we saw that we ended up with what was a weak buy, just shy of the long algo at that particular point, which would have been something to pay attention to at negative 11, excellent from an extreme standpoint. But there was the trigger from the uh, DOC, orange below the 13.5, you had uh, didn't quite have steel reach the 13.5, and it got close to 1280. Doesn't need to, as long as it's over 7.5, and then you're just waiting for the dip back below the 7.5 line, which was above the long algo. Let me move that arrow out of the way so you can see that. Kept grabbing everything but the arrow. There we go. And that slides over right like that. It wasn't much of a run. I mean, you ended up going from uh, 74, then we had this big giant spike, uh, which was part of uh, 
some of that change and that went up to 79 before it uh, went flat and when it does that on that change you've got to uh, in most cases just have your stop in place let it uh, trigger of course this generated a new cell that was right here uh, what was that price range 2173 so almost identical to the buy-in which was 74 uh, at that particular point and then it's all the way down to 69 on that weakness so didn't take very long for the chart to get right back into uh, setup, which I like because there's not going to be, you don't have to have a delay of any kind. Uh, half a day at max was uh, all it took to get this right in line. So, um, I did have a question about the orange that shows up on the shakeout. Um, you're going to see some of those vary because what's going to happen now is I'm going to be adjusting uh, the DOC readings and your paint bar is going to match pretty much the shakeout readings uh, as it goes. So even though you'll have positive extreme, you'll end up seeing them as, uh, I mean, not, not extreme, positive shakeouts. You know, they'll still be red uh, to match what uh, is going on with the algo. And that way you'll get a first glance and be easy to... Uh, uh, match the correlation unless there's a special consideration uh, which I may give then uh, additional uh, color change which just to give a heads up as to uh, some uh, special conditions and those we can isolate and uh, define and that'll be fun because then you'll still have your regular paint bar but you might see a little setup that uh, comes in that's maybe reflective of the power mo having a um, dramatic uh, signal which uh, would be great to be incorporating there into the shakeout so that it's not something that you have to have an entire separate indicator for. Um, I think that's going to make things uh, a lot easier. It's just going to reduce to where you're just going to end up with a big giant chart that has the beautiful colors and um, you'll have your long signals and be following with your uh, ABM. So I think that'll be uh, terrific. Uh, even if we scroll back into some of this, you can see there's a brief little area and then you see all these have numbers as I'm struggling with this little red setup configuration here uh, and got to get the numbers to show up on that one and then that lets me know that every portion of the market has an identifiable uh, setup so you have your extreme orange which is our should be extreme moves and then you go into your regular red mode and then the flip around into green and uh, these internal signals that'll take place within it. We'll establish it. And I'm gonna to start to put those together, unfortunately. While they saved my data, evidently there was some kind of virus within the data and compromised it. So pretty much gonna be creating a brand new uh, website uh, for everyone to look at. And um, that'll be fun. That way we can at least start getting some updates uh, put on there and get the videos back in regular form, though still having them on the Skype chat uh, is great for all the members and able to access them easy. But be nice to put the, a lot of this detail and we can get some uh, flow charts and various um, diagrams to break out how some of this occurs, even if it's not necessarily necessary, the colors are going to point it out, but at least they'll give you a, a clear idea of why these things take place and what the discrepancies are that are justifying these kinds of moves in the market uh, and how we're able to capture it so cleanly. Um, and we're not even trying to get exact, we're just trying to capture uh, the broadest picture so that uh, we can uh, hone in on uh, bigger trends within very small time frames. So, all exciting stuff. As always, though, look for me on the uh, Skype chat. Uh, I'm going to be continuing programming that, so I just pop in with charts and that, um, you know, as opportunity warrants. Uh, trade well, and we'll talk again later.